In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the fractal Photoshop action. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create from this photo this effect using this action. So the way that the action works is you open up your photo and you just play the action. The action will ask you to choose the texture that you would like to add. And you can just play the action multiple times to add multiple textures. And there are a thousand unique uh, textures included that you choose from. There's a lot of options for customizing the results that you get, and the action also creates a 3D5 preset color looks that you can choose from. Alright, so let me just close this window for now. And after you open up your photo, before you use the action, there's just a few things that you check to make sure that the action will run without any errors. So the first thing that you check is that your photo is a background layer, it should be called a background, and you have this little lock icon. So if you have something like this or anything else, just go to layer, new, and choose a background from layer. And this step will make your photo a background layer if it wasn't. And then go to image mode and just make sure your photo is in the RGB color mode as bit canon. And check the image size here. So for best results, you should use the photos that are around from 20 to 3500 pixels wide or high. Okay, so to load the action, just go to window, actions, click on this menu icon over here, load actions, and just choose the action file that came with download, click load. The action folder will appear in your actions panel. And when you open the folder, you find the several actions here. So all you have to do now is just select the fractal action and uh, click play. And here we get a message. So it says, in the next pop-up window, select the texture you would like to add and choose place. After you replace it and transform as you want, just hit enter and the action will continue to work. Choose continue to proceed. So just choose continue. And when you open the textures folder that can be downloaded, you will see there, uh, textures uh, in two different resolutions, so you got a 500 textures uh, in this uh, resolution and another 500 in this uh, resolution here. So, so just all you have to do now is just select the texture. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna select this one and just click place. And all you have to do now is just transform uh, this texture. You can move it around, transform it however you like. And you can also make the any transformation changes or move the texture later after the action is finished. So you can just transform it now or you can just hit enter. The action will continue to work and then you can just now uh, do any transformation if you like. So uh, as you can see, so the action will add and uh, blend the texture with your photo. So here we got a, a fractal folder and here is the uh, texture layer. So you can just press Control or Command T on your keyboard and to make any transformations uh, to the texture. So I'm just gonna scale it a little bit. All right, and I'm just gonna place it like this. So you can move the texture around, you can transform it however you like, and um, you can also apply some warp transformations. So if you just press Control or Command T, right click and choose warp transformations. And the as the texture is a smart object, it's going to save these warp transformations. So you, you can uh, later adjust it, or if you replace the texture uh, from the smart object, the transformation will be applied to other texture with no need to do the same transformation again, right? So if you just transform it, for example, like this, and now you can just double click here. And if you like to replace the text, you just go to File, Place Embedded, and choose any other text that you like. Just hit Enter. And it's important that you just hold Control or Command, select the first texture, press Control Command D to merge them into one layer, and then just go to File, Save. And once you close the uh, this window, uh, the texture is going to be automatically uh, updated over here, and the transformation that you made will still remain there. All right. So uh, now I'm just gonna position the texture like this, and. Uh, as you can see, this layer he has a layer mask over here. So if you wish to remove some specific part of this texture, just select the layer mask. And 
uh, pick a brush tool, you can just hit B in your keyboard to select the brush tool, right click anywhere inside the canvas and just choose a soft brush and just set the foreground color to black and now you can just brush these text uh, over uh, the texture or the areas that you wish to remove, just like that All right. and what we also got here is the um, texture brightness layer, so when you double click here uh, you can adjust the brightness of the texture So just gonna boost a little bit on mid-tones and just gonna boost a little bit the, the highlights. Alright, just like that. And here we got a texture color. So when you double click here, you can just change the hue value to change the color of the texture. You can also check the colorize option. If for the case the texture has multiple colors, when you check the colorize, it's going to make the texture to be in one color. All right, I'm just gonna keep the default color here. So every, each time you run the fractal action, uh, the action will create all these. It, it will place the texture that you choose, and you uh, create all these uh, layers. What you can do also is to duplicate these textures. You can just press uh, Control or Command J on your keyboard to duplicate the texture. If you wish to, on that way, you can increase its intensity, or if you just wish. Uh, if you just need another same texture, so I have just duplicated these textures, which is gonna move it a little bit over here, and then just gonna select the texture file, press Ctrl or Command T to transform it. It's just gonna scale it a bit. All right, just like that. I'm gonna place it over here. And as I can duplicate the texture, I can also, uh, this text also has these, the same layer mask at this point, so I'm just gonna delete the layer mask, just to right click and delete layer mask to add a new uh, layer mask. And now I'm just gonna brush like that. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another texture, so I'm just going to play the fractal action again. All right, so I'm just going to choose continue, and this time I'm going to use this one. All right, here it is. So you can just now transform the texture, or you can just hit enter, so the action will blend it with your photo, and then you can transform it. All right, here it is. So I'm just going to go to edit, transform, to flip these texture horizontally and vertically, all right, just like this. And now I'm just gonna I need to place it or here. Okay. So I'm just gonna double click here to adjust the, the brightness a bit. So just gonna increase the highlights and shadows a little bit. And I'm going to double click here and just change the color so it blends better. All right, just like that. this one like this okay so now what, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna duplicate this texture so I'm just gonna press Control uh, command J to duplicate now this one and I'm just gonna select the um, the texture layer and I'm going to flip this one both horizontally and vertically so now it's like the original texture, and as he duplicated the texture, all the settings are remained for the brightness and the color. And just gonna place it like this. All right. And what I'm going to do now is just gonna add another 
uh, textures. So I'm just going to play the fractal action once more. So I just continue here. And I'm going to use this one now. So just select the texture, click place. Here it is. Just going to hit enter. And I'm going to place this texture right here. I'm going to scale it a little bit. Alright, so I'm just going to double click here to adjust the brightness. And now I'm just going to select this text over here, just going to brush uh, I'm just going to brush with a black color into this layer mask a little bit over here to remove the texture on this area. Alright, just going to brush over. This one as well. And what you can also do is to brush with a black or some part of the texture like this and then just go to properties panel and just lower the density of layer mask. So for the, on that way you're just going to make uh, the texture fade a bit, right? So if you leave the density were 100%, the brush with the black is going to remove the texture totally, but you can then just lower the density to make it uh, visible more. So as you drop the density, it's going to uh, the visibility of the texture will be increased, right? Okay, so uh, now I'm just going to show you uh, these three actions here that I'm not going to uh, use in the example, so I'm just going to uh, show you how they work. Uh, so you just select the, uh, the folder, any of the fractal folders that you would like to create a glow from, right? So if I select this fractal folder, it's going to create the glow from this texture, right? So all you have to do is to just select any of these actions and click play. So I'm just going to select the radial texture glow, click play. All right, here it is. So the action will create the uh, created the radial texture glow folder, and you can find a glow layer right here. So you can also now move this the uh, the glow or press control command T, transform it, rotate it, and other. And you can also adjust the brightness. You can adjust the brightness of the glow, or you can change the color. What you can also do is, for example, add some texture create a glow from it, and then you can just hide the texture and you're just the glow if you like, right? So, I'm just going to delete this folder and I'm going to show you how the horizontal texture glow. Alright, and here we got a vertical texture glow. Okay, and for the radial texture glow, if you would like that, the glow goes uh, from the center of the texture, then just place the texture on the middle. Uh, for example, if you're using the texture in some corner, uh, on some side of the photo, you can just move the texture to the middle, run this action, and then you can just get it back. On that, uh, on that way, you're going to get the glow to, uh, to go from the middle of the uh, from the texture, right? So it's going to be created radially from the middle uh, of the texture. And also, if you like, you can drop the opacity of any of the textures. So the way you can change opacity is just click on the opacity, drag it aside. Or you can click on this little arrow here and then just move the slider, right? So that way you can adjust the opacity of any of the textures. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna select this layer mask and brush a little bit here on the edges. All right, just like that. And now what I'm going to do is just going to play the adjustments action. So I'm just going to uh, just select the top folder or the layer in your layers panel and just play the adjustments action. Okay, so the action has just finished, so I'm just going to close the actions panel. 
And here we got a folder, the adjustment folder that the action has created. So when you open the folder, the first layer that we got here is the reveal details and it says here brush white into a mask. So all you have to do is adjust the laser layer mask, choose the brush tool and just pick some salt brush, set foreground color to white and just brush for the areas where you wish to reveal more details of your photo. All right, just like this. And you can then just adjust the opacity over here. So just gonna drop it a little bit. All right, just like that. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And the next folder we got here is the color looks. So as I can mention at the beginning of the video, there are 35 preset color looks that you can choose from. And all you have to do is to just select the color that you would like to try and um, turn it on, see how it looks. If you don't like it, simply try with another until you find one that goes best with your photo. And what you can also do is just turn on one color look, adjust its opacity, and then just turn another one and also adjust its opacity. So you can just combine a few color looks and create some new color look. All right, and I'm just gonna choose this one here. I'm gonna lower its opacity a little bit. And I'm gonna choose this one here. I'm also gonna lower the opacity. All right, just like this. And this layer also has a layer mask. You can just select this layer mask, pick a brush tool, set program color to black. And you can brush for some areas if you wish to color look affect only a specific area of your photo. So you can just brush with the black or the areas that you don't want to be affected with the, uh, with the color look. All right. So the next layer that we got here is the overall contrast. So how I adjust the contrast is you just change the opacity. Okay, yeah, just like this. And here we got the overall saturation. The way you adjust the saturation is just double click on this layer thumbnail and so you can just move the saturation slider. So just gonna boost the saturation on a little bit. And the next layer we got here is the overall brightness. So the way you adjust the brightness is you just double click here and in the properties panel, uh, just adjust the brightness uh, using these five sliders. So this one here is boosting the shadows. This one is boosting the highlights. This one here is affecting the midtones, and this one is going to fade the shadows. This one is fading the highlights. All right. So I'm just gonna boost the highlights only a little bit, just like this. And the last layer we are here is the overall sharpening. So the way you adjust the sharpening is you can just click on the vert opacity, and then just drag it aside so you just uh, you adjust the sharpening by changing the uh, opacity all right and if you have made some changes to the design after this layer was created so for example now you change the textures or something you need to create this layer again as well to, to get a proper sharpening the reason for that is because if I move this layer like this you'll see all these lines that are the edges of the design so if you make some changes here these edges and lines have to be updated as well. So what you should do is just delete this layer and press Control, Command uh, and Alt, Option, Shift and D on your keyboard to make a screenshot and then press Control, or Command, Shift, U to the saturated photo, go to Filter, Other, High Pass, Set Radius to 2 pixels and then just change the blending mode to Overlay and then you can adjust the opacity if you like. All right. So and I'm just going to do one more thing. So just going to select the background layer and I'm going to create one uh, levels layer. And what I'm going to do with this one is just going to uh, drop down the midtones and just going to select this layer mask and set program color to black. I'm just going to press Shift F5 and fill this layer mask with a black. So now this layer is not visible anywhere. And now I'm just going to, with a salt brush, just going to brush uh, with a white color or this area here where I got the textures just to make them a little bit more um, to increase their intensity, right? So as you can see the difference. So the texture is not too much visible in some areas because your photo is too bright on that area. You can just create this layer just above your background layer and brush with a um, uh, white color into layer mask only over the area that you wish this layer effect. And then you can just adjust the 
uh, brightness of that area. So I have just drop the mid tones a little bit, and that's it. So let's just quickly check before and after. So this is the before, and this is the after. All right. So I hope you understood everything. But if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Vato Profit page. Thanks for watching.